If you are a business owner looking to leverage YouTube as a tool to grow your business, in this video, I'm gonna show you one of my all-time favorite tools, vidIQ. vidIQ is one of those platforms that will really help you maximize all of the time you're putting into creating your YouTube videos so that more people find you and watch your videos. Now, before I dive into the tutorial, hello, my name is Andrea Jones. For those of you who are new, I'm a social media strategist and I am fiercely committed to helping business owners use social media as a tool to grow your business. And in videos like this one, I share my screen and walk you through exactly how I do it for myself and for my clients as well. Now, before we dive into the video as well, just a little warning that this video is pulled directly from our Savvy Social School content. So yes, this is part of a longer course all about the power of video marketing, but I wanted to share a bit of it with you today because vidIQ will literally change how you do your YouTube strategy and will make things so much easier for you. So with that, let's dive into this tutorial. I talk a lot about vidIQ and I wanted to take a moment to show you behind the scenes of my vidIQ because I share it in Video Savvy here in the Savvy Social School. I talk about it on social media and all of that great stuff. And they just updated their dashboard. So um, at the top left-hand corner here, you'll see all of my channel stats. And what I like is in seeing the increases here um, on this dashboard. You can see this in YouTube analytics as well. Uh, but in the past seven days, my views have increased. I can toggle it to the last 30 days as well, which is typically how I look at my data. Um, so you can see all of that. It's actually decreased a bit um, as far as views and subscribers, but retention is up by 11%. So what that tells me is I'm hitting more of the right people. Also on the right hand side, you can see some keywords. We'll get into that. Um, I don't have my channel monetized yet at the time of recording this. Um, not quite there yet. You can see I still have some watch time to go. Once I get to 4,000, I'll be able to monetize my channel and I'll create more content around that. You can look at the best time to post. So for me, it's between 12 and 3 each day. Uh, on Sunday, sorry, specifically, you can scroll through and look at each day. It's around the same time each day for me. And you see later in the week, um, oh, 9 to 12 there and so on and so forth. And then you can also take a look at the channel demographics. Top videos here, my competitors. I added these in, which I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go over to the first tab here, which is the daily ideas section which I love because if you are running out of ideas, which we all get there, it gives you uh, some examples of keywords. So if I wanted to do a video on SEO versus social media, that has a very high potential of being ranked in the search terms. Um, social media video tips, social media graphic design tips, social media marketing analytics. I've been doing a lot of content around this lately as well already. Uh, but these are just some keywords that I can con consider putting into my channel. And look at all of these ideas. Oh my gosh. Like, You'll never run, of idea, run out of ideas <laughs> with this. Um, I love this here, social media for coaches. So if you wanted to kind of click on the arrow here, it'll start showing you some of the other videos um, that are kind of related to this topic. Let me go back up to the very high one here and use that one as an example as well. I can show you what is showing up in the search term currently. And you can see here we have lots about SEO and then social media, but not really social media versus SEO. Um, this one's versus AdWords. So you can see there's a lot of potential here to dominate this this sort of key term because if someone's searching for this, they're not finding what they're looking for based on this data here. So that can really help you as well. Now let's dive more into the keywords here. Again, it'll start suggesting for you based on what's currently ranking on your channel. So right now I have some Airtable tutorials as well as the review of my microphone that is doing very well, um, which I can revisit. But even if I just wanted to search something specific, so let's say Instagram Reels. Let's say I wanted to create content around that. This will show me trending videos for that keyword. It'll also show me some alternatives. So Instagram Reels, um, it doesn't have a lot of competition actually, but you can see how many people are searching for this. Um, and because it's so new, that's probably why it doesn't have a lot of um, competition. 
But I would suggest getting to four or five words for your keywords. So I may want to start here. New trending Instagram Reels videos. People are searching for this, about 2,000 people. And let me just see number of times each month. Right? So about 2,000 people are searching for this each month. And it's very low competition. So there's not a lot of people in that category. And this is the number of how many bit videos are competing for that keyword. So if I go to new trending videos, there are about 25 videos currently in this category, um, but it could be a potential word to explore. So you can see how with just one keyword, I've typed in Instagram Reels. Um, it's giving me so many ideas here for how I can do this. And I would probably do something like how to use Instagram Reels. So about 10,000 searches this month, but only 33 videos that are competing with it this month. Um, so you definitely want to, I would, I would want to take a look at that. So anyways, this is vidIQ. I find for YouTube keyword research, it really cuts my down, my, my time down to like a fifth of the time using, um, keyword research. You can also look at your competitors. And so I like to do this to get a sense of where I'm at. And I put some heavy hitters in here. Um, but let me just check off all of these. I went ahead and added them. So you can type for, say I searched for Aaron on demand. So you can type their name in here. Uh, that's the last one I did. So it's, it's popping up there. And then you can get their the information from their channel to see if you are on par with your competitors. So you can look here, see. And so this is the total views for the past 30 days. I'm way down here, <laughs> but you can see I'm working up to those views. I think one of these was actually really good. Um, videos per day. I'm actually posting um, more videos than three of these competitors on here per day. So I'm doing well there. Um, but I have a long ways to go when it comes to subscribers and views and all of that. But what I like as well is the top videos from these competitors. You can see some inf interesting information, things like um, this person put a video editing tutorial that's doing pretty well for them. Views per hour is pretty good. YouTube likes that. Um, something about uh, Instagram engagement that's doing well. Um, so these are the types of videos that are doing well for other people in my niche. So it's good to kind of get a pulse point on the, on these, but I honestly, I like to look at this information once a month because I don't want to um, accidentally be too inspired <laughs> by someone's channel. But I like to see this information. And I like to see the trends here as far as percentage. So you can see these are average views per day. I'm trending up by 5%, which is almost higher than everyone except for, for Rachel Peterson here um, as far as a percentage of growth. And so I feel like I'm on the right track when it comes to creating these videos. And so this can be a really good perspective for you if you feel like you're not growing to really look into the data there. You can also take a look at things like subscriber data. Honestly, this is also in your YouTube analytics. So I don't find this to be too, too um, helpful for me specifically, but it's here. They have more um, SEO features, which I'll talk about in a minute, but you can do this here. I like to do this on the video. So I'll show you what that means in a minute, but you can mass ad tags basically. So for this video I did, discovery calls for social media managers, they're saying, hey, do you want to add these keywords? Here are the ones I already have. Um, these are tags basically. And I've already done this a lot. So... Yeah, there's not like a lot of good ones there. Um, but that's uh, vidIQ on the app. How I mostly use it is the Google Chrome extension. So I'm going to use someone else's video. This just showed up on my Discover page today <laughs> as I was recording this. Her video is how to grow Instagram followers organically. And so you can see this little thing here is vidIQ. And you can start to see the vidIQ stuff popping up. This is the Google Chrome extension. So on the right hand side, I can actually see the score of her video. How optimized is it? Which I'll show you how to do this on the back end as well. Um, it, it, how optimized is the actual video versus the SEO? So she did a really good job of the SEO here. She got the 96% score. You can also see their tags, which I love. Um, and you can also see the ranking of that tag as well. And so this can be very helpful to see, okay, how to grow your Instagram. 
She's doing well there. Instagram growth tips, Instagram followers, grow fast on Instagram is doing okay. And so these are the tags that she used. You can also save and download tags from um, your competitors as well, which could be helpful to make sure that your video is next to theirs in the search. Um, and you can also look at her channel-wide tags as well. It looks like she's actually a makeup and skincare person who just happened to make a Instagram video. And so you can kind of see all of this information. Typically, it's hidden from you. You can see all of this with vid. IQ. All right. How to do this for your own videos. So if you head on over to your video details and you have the vidIQ extension added in, it's going to start suggesting things. So the first thing it suggests here is for me to add social media to the title. The best tools I use for live streaming on social media, probably. So I'm going to try that to update my title. It'll also usually suggest some for the description as well, but my description is pretty good. Like, I don't want to change that. Now, it will also at the bottom here um, suggest tags. So here are the tags I currently have. Social media, social media marketing, etc. The one that I'm ranking for is my own name. <laughs> so I don't feel like that counts too much. The rest are okay. I'm not doing as great. Um, but if I scroll down further with the vidIQ plan I have, I can boost this video and it'll start suggesting other tags to me. And so you can scroll down and it'll start suggesting even more tags. Now, this isn't really giving me the tags that I want uh, because this is about live video. So I'm going to say something about live video. All right. So I added in a few keywords, but it actually looks like there's not a lot of people searching for the keywords that I added. So it's going to suggest other ones to me. So you can see here, social media marketing for beginners, how to be a social media manager, social media hacks, Facebook marketing, Instagram tips. And so it's going to start suggesting suggesting things for you. So here's one, how to go live on YouTube. If I wanted to add this to my tags, I just hit the plus button down here and it added it to my tags up here. And so with this tool, you can, you can see how you could easily max out your tags. You can have up to 500 characters. So not 500 tags, 500 characters. Um, and I'm at 406. So I may want to kind of uh, maybe add Facebook live stream up there. And let's see if I can do any others that kind of fit with this. I'm going to add Facebook live streaming. Okay. So I've added in some tags. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save, but I want to show you a few other functions of vidIQ. You can see here that it's got like a thumbnail, search results, test. Um, I don't find this to be very helpful <laughs> for me, um, but let's see. Tools for live streaming. I think I use all one word here in this video. Um, so it'll, it'll show you this is how mine will look in the search results. And you can see if your um, thumbnail will stand out essentially with everything else. But I know mine stand out, stand out on its own. So I'm pretty confident there. All right. So the other thing I love about vidIQ is the performance on the right hand side of the screen here. So you can put in the search result that you're trying to rank for. Okay. And it'll um, start giving you information on this. So my score right now is a 55. Um, and I have not finished my checklist. So I don't have a card. I do have an in screen, which the next videos in this course, if this, if you're watching video savvy, we'll talk through how to do those. I don't have closed captioning or monetize, monetization, and I didn't share or reply to a comment. Okay. So you want to do all of these things because this is what YouTube is looking for to rank your video. They want to see you fully using all of their features. They want to see people engaging with your video and they want to see that you're bringing in traffic from other places. You can also look at the SEO card here and it's giving you some more suggestions for performance. So based on this, I may want to look at my tags again. Um, I may want to look at um, my high volume tags. So while I do have a good level of tags, so 
I'm using all of the tags and the volume. My title's great. My description's great. I have used this three times. The actual keyword itself isn't ranking. And so you can start playing around with this and adding in more keywords. Um, and the good news is, is you can always edit this over time. So how I typically do this is let my video sit for a while. And then I may go back and optimize and edit it. But honestly, 55 out of 100, I'm happy with this number for this video. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I, like I said, I love vidIQ. I'll put my link down below this video so you can check it out for yourself. And if you're ready to take things further with your marketing strategy and really build out a plan that helps you tighten up your messaging, create content, and ultimately impact more people using the power of social media, I want to invite you to check out our free course. You can find it by going to onlinedrea.com slash free. It has so many juicy like treats inside of the course. It's one of our favorite free kind of things we release out into the world. So definitely check that out, but also subscribe to this channel because I have more juicy videos coming for you very soon. That's all for today. Bye. Thank you.